So, uh, you, uh, what's this track called, Dan? This one's called Hot to the Touch. Oh, okay. It's like a slow romantic type ballad, I guess. Would it be like a Kenny Rogers type ballad? <laughs> oh, no. No? Okay. I, I can't get this so full as he... <laughs> the only reason I mentioned him is I listened to an interview with him yesterday. Oh, you did? Uh, yeah, and it was a pretty, it was a pretty like an hour long uh, interview. I listened to like forty five minutes of it. So I like Kenny Rogers. I do too. Kenny Rogers. I don't know if anyone knows this. Just as a uh, interesting tidbit that no one cares about, has sold. Guess how many albums he has sold worldwide? Oh. Kenny Rogers. Now his last <laughs> platinum album was in the late eighties. No, I actually he had one in nineteen ninety nine. But he hasn't had a platinum or gold since. Kenny Rogers has sold over 100 million albums worldwide. I didn't, wow. I didn't really expect that. Hmm. But uh, what's he known as, The Gambler? Yeah, I was going to say, I guess The Gambler song really paid off there for him. <laughs> I, I hate now that like uh, there's a uh, like a generation that only knows him from those uh, commercials. What kind of commercials were? It was like singing The Gambler song? <laughs> yeah. So, the Ga- was it Gacko? Gacko, yeah. 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 Sad. Mm. And his uh, bad plastic surgery made me sad. Because <laughs> I didn't recognize him at first. I was like, Kenny, is that you? So, Dan, take it away. <laughs> <laughs> How do I follow Kenny Rogers' plastic surgery? Yeah. Into this, with this romantic. Song called, uh, with, this, with this romantic song called Hot <laughs> to the Touch. <laughs> not written for Kenny Rogers. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, surprisingly, the way that song got written, gosh, it was way back in 2006, and uh, my cousin, Shelly, uh, was taking a songwriting class through, I guess it was, uh, gosh, the college over in Bristol. I don't even think it's there anymore. I was going to say it's King College, but... Uh, VI. VI, Virginia Intermont. Yeah. It was a songwriting class through Virginia Intermont. 
Sorry, I had a brain fart. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they had a book. Um, they had like a quote from it, talking about lost loves, talking about how like the loves that leave you when the passion has grown cold, you don't really care so much about, but the ones that leave you when the passion still going strong leave you still hot to the touch. Right. Mm-hmm. So the professor asked the class to write a song about it. And of course, you know, who, who does my cousin call? <laughs> so she calls me and then I, I, you know, she just wanted me to help her with it. Like, you know, write a, write a few lines and get her started. But I ended up writing the whole dang song. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just handed it to her. She got like a, an A on it. <laughs> so you I passed the songwriting yeah. class yeah. through her. So that was good, dude. Yeah. Sorry if I get you in trouble, cuz, for plagiarism or anything like that. Song, right? There has to be a statute of limitations to that. Yeah. So. yeah. How long ago was that? Well, V.I. Well, was gone, too. So. Yeah, well, there you go. That's so. true. That's You're true. good. You're in the I don't, I don't think they're coming for <laughs> no, it, man. I don't think so. <laughs>